Okay, so for this workout, you're gonna need some very specialist equipment. Get your loo rolls at the ready. And Grace is gonna keep an eye on my form, and we're gonna do the toilet roll circuit. all be connected and Dre's can have his first live preview and I was just gonna check in and see how everybody's doing hi everybody what's everyone saying are you losing your minds yeah this is actually a good thing we can take a step back from reality take some time out I'm super proud of everybody who is actually doing the stay at home situation because we're saving our communities and we're helping so many people so it's really important we do that so I thought we do a fun little workout. We'll get Andreas involved also. Um, and we'll get ourselves moving and feeling a little bit happier. And wearing yellow for the occasion, brighten up the day. So let's get a few people more on board and then we can start our workout. Thank you guys. Now, I've been doing a few home workouts, keeping myself busy. It's good for mental health, it's good for physical health. Uh, yes, it is. Uh, so I thought I'd incorporate the little man into this also, so we can have a workout and also get my wife involved because it's a real thing. It really is. Is five different exercises, all lower body workouts. Yes. Okay, let's get started. We can't stay in two places for too long. Right. So number one is the glute bridge. Now this is a good one to start off with because it actually activates the glutes. Um, so all the exercises that we do in the future uh, have a real impact and maximum effect. So let's go for it. You can do this with or without a human baby weight. You can do this with a normal weight. You can do it weightless, whatever you want. But for the purposes of today, Andreas is involved. Right, let's do this. Right leg. 
And then Jerry is going to stay right there. Keep our body really still. And if you can't feel that bend, take it a little bit lower with your left leg. And do that 10 times either side. Now, I'm going to do less reps because I don't want to get exhausted on each leg. And then it gets a bit wobbly. Then we have accidents. Um, if I was doing this without Andreas, I'd probably do 20 reps either side. So this just engages your core muscles, it gets your booty working. So as I said, 10 on each side. Whew. And this little one's quite heavy. He's 9.5 kilos already and he's only six months old. So he gets me working, he does. Cut his muscles, nothing. Right, okay, next up we're gonna do our sumo squats. Now even before I had the baby, I had an issue with the inside of my thighs. I think those girls do. Um, so this is a really good one for toning that. Right, so we're gonna take a really wide stance. We're gonna have our toes rotated externally. And like a normal squat, we're just gonna go down, knees outwards, as low as possible, and up again. I'm gonna do 10 of these sumo squats. enjoying himself anyway. It's all right for some, mister. Take a little bit lower each time. Really controlled movements. The slower you go on the dip, and you can burst up with a bit of power on the way up. Okay, shake it off. You need a little bit of water, grab your water. Okay, and next up we have, let me just check because baby brain is a real thing and yeah, I've become very forgetful. Reverse lunges up next. Right, are you ready? Okay, reverse lunge time. Now again, I'm not gonna do less reps with the lunges because I don't wanna get wobbly, I don't wanna get shaky. Don't want any accidents to happen. So, um, usually I do around 15 each leg. This one, I'm just gonna do five just to show you. You can take it as it comes, gauge it, see how you feel, and go from there. So with our reverse lunges, I'm gonna start with the right leg. Take it really slow, no need to rush. The more controlled, the better. And on this leg, I'll just show you from the side stance. online just let me know if this is working guys for you let me know if this is okay we've not done this before have we we're getting everybody involved in workouts yeah that's the one and now we're also going to start um coming down to the mat now on the mat there's lots of different things you can do but for this purpose i'm just going to do a couple of Press up, so that's obviously upper body. But Andreas doesn't mind checking himself out in that mirror over there, so this is a really good place to do it. And it's a nice little bonding session, also. Obviously, it's not a huge, vigorous workout, it's more about having a bit of fun, uh, bonding, and then get some moves as well for the workout when you want to do it properly. Right, now, usually I do my press ups um, without the bent knees on the mat. Um, but I don't want to go head plant on the baby, so I'm going to stay safe. And I'm going to keep my knees on, on the mat and bend in. Hello, young man. One, uh, two, three. Mwah. Mwah. Um. Show everybody what you've got, Lent. Okay. Oh my God. 
little ones. Now the next few workouts, I'll incorporate some resistance bands, um, a few other weights, but that's just an easy one to get started with. So now down to the lockdown situation. How's everybody dealing with it? What are your tips and tricks for staying sane, I suppose, in, in the lockdown? Because this is our day nine of self-isolation and it gets tough if you don't have a good mindset and you're not strong-minded um you know you can go really quite low if you if you um don't keep yourself occupied keep your mind busy uh so with my workouts i've been really um helping myself up on my mind helping my physical uh efforts also so let's see what everybody else is saying about their quarantine show me show me guys uh, thank you, yes, bright yellow, wearing some nice yellow to liven up the mood. This is by Aloe Yoga. This is my gym kit, everyday uniform Aloe Yoga. As soon as I wake up in the morning, put my gym kit on. That's a really good point, actually. Rather than lounge around your PJs or your dressing gown or whatever you want to do, get up, get changed, put your gym stuff on, get in the gym, get active. Uh, everybody's loving you, Andreas. Everybody's loving you over here. Oh, he is six months old, Nara. Yes, yeah, six and a half months old now, actually. He's a big boy. He's watching his little brother over there. Herbie, come and say hi. He's scratching at the poor dog's going mad. He wants to get out. Do you want to go outside, babe? She can't. Come on, come and say hi to everybody on here. Quick. Oh, Herbie, what's this? Look. Hello, everyone. Come here. Oh, hello! Now everybody knows Herbie. Oh, thank you, sweetheart. He's taking a bit of a back foot now, baby. He's arrived. <laughs> but he loves his little brother. He does. So, guys, tell me how's lockdown? There's lots of people over in India at the moment. Where's everybody from? When did you go into lockdown? Is this the first day? How are you dealing with it? Any tips for me? Ah, oh, let's low Amy. Hi guys, thank you for all your support all the time. You're very, very, very sweet. Ah. Uh, hello. Tell me about your quarantine situation. Baby Bean Media, hey, what's up? I'm gonna be sending you my videos soon to edit. I need some help. <laughs> Hi everybody, nice to have you here. So I hope that little workout inspired you to get moving because it's gonna be extremely miserable over the next couple of weeks if we don't get ourselves going. So stay positive, stay active, and yeah, keep fit, keep tuning in, and we've got lots more to come. Thank you so much, guys. Mwah.